Okay, so, so to, to bring everybody up to speed with us, and even those of you who haven't been in our class this week with us and maybe haven't had time to go out and um, study our Pinterest boards, there, we've really identified four styles, and it's their cat broad categories that I created to really help people start to have a range or, or an idea of what their styles are, but we didn't want to get really rigid. So a lot of things fall under each category, but category A is classic traditional. So when you hear us saying, oh, I'm an A, that's really classic traditional, and that can mean anything from English to French to American design, but things rooted in tradition, antiques, collections, that sort of thing. Um, what we refer to as B is cool urban. So it's modern, it's hip, it seems like something that would be in cities. A lot of times it's metal, leathers, um, all kinds of dark, moody tones and shades, just really sleek and clean. Style C, which we'll get to in a minute, and we'll point these out, but I think I'll go ahead and give everybody all of them now so, so when I'm asking the quiz, you can play along. Style C is what I call artistic traveler. So collections, but more global collections, a little bohemian or tribal or all, you know, all sorts of global influences brought to uh, together in that style. And then style D is sophisticated stylista or fashionista, and so it's really that glamour girl or glamour guy, stylish, um, fashion influenced, mirrors, l shiny finishes, crystal, glass, lucite, anything that really brings that glamorous look together. So that's why for, for this example, we were saying this is maybe a combination of cool urban, because it is sleek, we see the sleek metal legs on the stools and, and not a lot of ornate detailing, but it's also very glamorous, glamour inspired. The color of the wall, the shiny finishes, the drama in the flower arrangement certainly feels really glamorous. And you might even think about this as you know a, a lady's dressing room or some other type of, of room, but what I love about it that makes it so bold to me is that it is a foyer or an entryway, uh, which I think is really exciting and great and daring. So one of the things you're gonna see over and over with these tastemakers is that these rooms are really daring because that's how these people became the trendsetters. They were willing to go out of the box. They were willing to do things that they hadn't seen before and put things together in a whole new way.